So we are giving powers to ChatGPT to connect to the real or live internet. Hi guys, my name is Ndipo Maginya and I'm your host for today's episode and yet we welcome you onto another ChatGPT video. So today's video is different from other videos that we've made so far. The other ones we were trying to connect ChatGPT to WhatsApp using Windows and Mac OS. So ChatGPT is trained on a data up until 2021. So if you try to search something after 2021, you won't be able to get that information. So meaning that uh, ChatGPT has no continuous saving power of saving the net and try to find information. So how do we then give chat gpt surfing powers to be able to connect to real-time uh, live internet and do live searches so things like searching for a weather for today you can be able to uh, achieve that with chat gpt so let's get to it what we're going to do first is to go to open ai uh, website uh, we're going to search it on google and go and click chat gpt so after clicking chat gpt you will then log into your chat gpt using your account whether you have used um, your, your Gmail or you have registered specifically with GPT account. So um, in my case, I've used my Gmail account. So I'm going to connect to ChatGPT using my Gmail. So now we have opened our ChatGPT. So we're going to say hi to chat GPT and see what the response will be. So you can see it says, hi, how can I help you today? And then we are going to say, what is the weather like for Johannesburg today? Um, so here we go. And as you can see, it's saying that as a language model, it's unable to access real time weather information. Um, and it recommends that we check uh, weather apps for, for that to get the most up-to-date uh, weather conditions. So what we're going to do now, we are going to um, open settings and then go to extensions. So we're going to open Chrome Web Store, um, then search uh, Web Chat GPT. So Web Chat GPT. Um, is a plugin that will allow us to connect our chat GPT to internet. Then you add that to Chrome, then you add extension. Um, thereafter, chat GPT will pop up uh, automatically after adding that um, Chrome extension. Then from there, we are going to ask it the same question that we had asked before. Um, what is the weather like uh, today in Johannesburg, right? So there we go. You can see that it has given us um, information uh, about the sources where it's going to extract the data from, right? And then uh, after that, it will write the statement. Um, it's giving us today's date, uh, that today's weather in Johannesburg is like that, like that, like that, like that. So this chat GPT now is pulling live data uh, from different internet sources uh, and give us uh, the statement as, 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 as to what is happening with the re with regard to the prompt or the question that we had asked um, ChatGPT. So I'm um, saying, please give me the answer in degrees Celsius because in South Africa we use degrees Celsius. So um, there we go. It's going to give us uh, in degrees Celsius. And as you can see where it says search on the web, there are, uh, there's an option where you can say uh, it says three results. So meaning that it will go and extract the information from three sources that you'll find online. So meaning that it will go and extract information from three sources that you'll find online. So it will give us three, three sources with, that, with those results. Then um, for this one, it will just, you know, convert the result that it gave us already into degree Celsius. So as you can see, this one is just converted uh, the temperature to degree Celsius uh, as it had given us the temperature already uh, on the previous uh, query. So now you can see we can toggle uh, on and off the plugin of searching on the web using ChatGPT 
so let's see what after we have toggled it off if we ask the same question what it will tell us so you can see it's giving us the response that is like the previous one it's saying is saying that it can't access the current information uh, since it's a language model that is trained in the data that cuts off in 2021. So here you can be able to choose if you want one result and then you can choose from what day or any time and then the region of your response whether you want from South Africa specifically or whether you want from the USA specifically or anywhere India you can select um, the, the accuracy of your data in that regard so thank you very much for watching and if you want to see more chat GPT videos please drop a comment below and subscribe to this channel and push that notification bell so that when you upload a new video you are able to be notified so thank you very much please share this video Thank you.